Okay, fish people. This is Fee Fee representing here for Fish Zoo GH. Yes. What are these? Somebody would ask. These are Shubun King Gold fishes. Yeah, the fry. The fry of the Shubun King Gold fish. Wow. There are so many, yeah? So many of them. What are we going to do with them? Well, we are breeders. We breed, we sell. But these fry, I'll say they are so unique. <laughs> Why are they unique? These fry, we never expected them. Yes, we never expected them. We actually brought in some fishes in here. This is where we keep our fishes when people order them. We, um, we bring them here. We wait for the uh, buyers to come around, pick them up. Yeah, those that we have to deliver, then we deliver it to them. But what happened was, these guys, the next morning, we just realized that they were spawning. We had three, three males, uh, two females, and these guys spawned. They did a lot of spawning, but we saw them late, so they had actually really enjoyed virtually all the eggs, but we still got some. There are lots of them in here last time when these guys were stuck to the glasses what we did was we did some counting and um we got about 300 plus so well they actually a lot we'll do some curling and hopefully we'll get a few of them to sell out yeah the best of them to sell out yes but since we didn't expect these guys how are we going to take care of them yeah that's the question there's something we can feed them that is the egg yolk yes the egg yolk is easy it's always available in our kitchen most of the time yes we always have eggs in our kitchen in the fridge and in our next video we are actually going to teach you how to prepare the egg yolk for these but what we're going to feed them is actually the egg yolk these guys were hatched exactly when i say exactly i mean exactly 48 hours after these guys were spawned and after 48 hours these guys came out they were stuck to the glasses and all that yeah and after 24 hours these guys were free swimming so um now they are basically they are basically about three days old yes three days old these guys are three days old and yeah actually we started feeding them the egg yolk and that's what these guys are living on what's going to happen next these guys will be here will be here actually for about these guys should be here for like two weeks and then we'll move them to a bigger uh, container where we'll still feed them um, at the moment you can see we only have a sponge filter which which is working perfectly um, the algae we have any here is good actually good for them this algae was uh, has been here for a while we don't really get rid of them what we do is that we just keep them uh, this actually serves as uh, something that they can nibble on when they are hungry but these guys can really eat yeah we actually drop the egg yolk and these guys really eat a lot yes so they actually enjoying the algae that you see in there we have algae all over this spot yeah we have algae all over the plants and all that these guys have been doing a good job eating the algae but also enjoying the yolk and we actually feed them about four to five times in a day yes um, let's say in the morning around six we feed them and we have to feed them around every uh, three hours so after after six in the morning that we fed them we have seven eight nine to feed them twelve and then in the night too since we have the lights in here that work we also feed them in the night as well we feed them the egg yolk yes which in the next video you would see uh, how we are able to prepare it there are various ways to prepare it and even as they go we still that there are point in times where we feed them the egg yolk and there's a different way to prepare it for them as they, they're getting old so in our next video watch out we're going to show you a lot about how to prepare the egg yolk for these fry these fry which are just three days old shubun king gold fishes yeah these guys are going to grow and become so lovely yeah this this is the part i love about this hobby you get to see them when they hatch 
you get to see them swimming around you get to see them growing and you are able to tell each and every one of these guys how they were when they're young you see when you are close you get to see like you get to know them let us see if you know their names yeah don't mind me but it's real sometimes you get to know them you understand and it's even difficult sometimes when you are selling some of your favorite some of your favorite hatch yeah they look so good and it's difficult to sell them you get so much attached to them that's what happens when you love what you do yeah there's all there's a hobby but i've grown to love it guys i've grown to love it so that's about it these guys here are enjoying the agi and then also uh, the plants that we have in here we have two types of plants actually we have this ah don't ask me the name not yet uh, we have this we have the grass yeah all aquarium plant yeah fresh water aquarium plant and serving the purpose yeah serving the purpose in our subsequent videos we'll be telling you the importance of having a uh, live plant in your aquarium live plants like these in your aquariums yeah um, i'll show you the next uh, we have these guys down here these guys down here which someone will be coming to pick up that's why they are down here and we have plants in here for them and they are very okay with these plants even without aeration these are so good you have guppies and some mollies down here yeah but today we're talking about these wonderful shogun king fry and please to know more about what happens to these um hit the subscribe button and then the bell for every for notifications on every video that we upload yes yeah thank you very much for watching thanks a lot be expecting more from us thanks